series on the line with you on the mound, you would be an Oregonian in the mm-hmm. War, and for you to get the win, the emotion of that. It was huge. It was fun to come out, and we got a lot of run support early, which really took kind of a lot of the pressure off me, so I just needed to go out and throw strikes, and the innings they scored, I didn't do a very good job of that, and they got a couple runs, but we just kept on scoring and scoring, which made it pretty easy for the pitchers. Matt, after the loss on Friday, said that you guys were going to win the series. It started with Saturday. You did that, and then after Saturday's game, Pete, you said you want to put the Ducks in place. Can you speak to the juice that you guys had? For this we just, I think Friday woke us up a little bit. We were on a 12-game winning streak, and I think we kind of got, we're feeling a little too good about ourselves, and it kind of woke us back up and woke the bats up, and we saw how we responded. One point when you got Healy to ground into that double play, you know, two years ago, runners on the corners, that type of situation, you might have not been able to get out of it. Yeah, definitely. I knew he was probably going to swing 3-0. He was expecting a fastball, and that's kind of the baseball gods coming down on him, swinging 3-0. <laughs> two years ago, you also, you had not been good in your previous few starts, so they threw Niger in here. They started, mm-hmm. you came in in relief. How much were you thinking about that, just that you wanted to make up for something today? I just, I love throwing against these guys. I mean, it's an in-state. I've, it's been a rivalry for me and my friends growing up for as long as I can remember. So it's just fun to come out and get the win. What does this mean for your club to win the Civil War Series on the road? First time the team's done on the road forever. It's huge. I mean, we're just one more, one step closer to our goal and winning the Pac-12 title and then our big goal getting to a sunny place in Nebraska. You guys, two years ago, came into the final weekend here with a lead in, in the Pac-12, got swept, didn't win the conference title. What did you and the other guys on the team learn from that experience two years ago that you're going to take to approaching this week uh, in a similar situation? Obviously, it'll be a two-game lead, but a similar situation heading into the final series of the year. I think a lot of the guys on that team, we still have a lot of those guys here. We're a lot of young guys, a lot of young pitchers and position players, and I think we've learned a lot from the last couple of years, and now we have an older club that's kind of been through it all and have been able to bounce back, and we know what attitude we need to bring into the series now. What, what any specific lessons you learned? I know we, early in the week we talked, you said you came in and put too much pressure on yourself. Mm-hmm. I think our dugout we got down a couple times against them two years ago, and our dugout was just quiet. Nobody, we didn't have the same fire and fight. And now we get down, and it's almost like a challenge. Like, can we do this? Let's go try. And now you've had a lot of run support over your past six stars. Not that you, you needed much of it, but that's got to be nice. Oh, no, it's really, really, really nice being able to go out there and just know that we have a big lead. You just kind of got to pound the zone and get out. I have a Max behind you, made another fantastic <laughs> play today. What's going through your mind on the mound? Ball goes up in the air, you turn around. What would take Me and Max percent? talked about it a little bit in the dugout, and we both thought it was just going to be a lazy fly ball, and then it just got into the jet stream a little bit, and he said, he just said, oh, shoot, and then went back, and he does it every game. You guys have seen it every game. He could be on the top 10 sports center every night. I asked if you guys have been – the pitchers have been buying him any meals for all the catches he's made, but he said you guys are college students. What yeah, he doesn't eat too much. <laughs> <laughs> what about the offensive point? The past two nights, or past two games? Unbelievable, getting those guys started and just everybody kind of stuck to the approach, going the other way, and then they get a fastball in, turn on it. Mike takes a hanging change up, puts a four spot up. That was pretty nice. What, what do you think about him ripping the, the jersey open up? I mean, we've, we've done it. That's our thing. We hit a double. You show the OS to our dugout. We're not, didn't mean any disrespect to them by any means. They're a great ball club. But that's just something we do to kind of pump our dugout up. About Tuesday night, obviously, you won't feature in it, but a, a kind of an odd situation with a non conference game two days after the emotions of this series. How, how do you as a team approach that game? It's you? another ball game. You got to go win. You try to win as many as you can in the season, and they're all just as important. Does it feel different? Does it feel like a Civil War game, or does it feel different than these three games this weekend? I'll, t- the I'll game tell game? you on Tuesday. I'm still <laughs> taking in the day. Thanks, Yep. Thanks.